Hi everyone, Paige here from That Crafty Dog. Today I'm going to be showing you how I sculpted my little pirate hats for my little clan scurvy rats. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I create both the classic tri-shaped captain's hat and a deckhand bandana. I'm going to be showing you these on Skaven models, but they can be used on any model, big or small. This is a fairly simple process, and for both you will need the same things. Green stuff or modelling putty, such as epoxy sculpt or milliput, or any other alternatives that do the same thing. You will also need a pointy sculpting tool or equivalent, so you can use pencil, cocktail stick, finger, anything to smooth and sculpt. And lastly, you'll need a model to put the hat on. You can probably sculpt one without the model, but it's a lot easier to do it onto the model. First off, we're going to be making the captain's hat. To do this, first thing is to mix together your green stuff. But make sure you don't get that connected bit in the middle, as it can make your piece go all wibbly. And by wibbly, I mean it'll have like a weird lump in it. Then, from that green stuff, make two balls in roughly a similar size to your model's head, but make sure that one of the balls is at least slightly bigger. Then, take the bigger one and flatten it out like so. Place this onto your model's head and press it down so you can see the base of the head just slightly bulging through the top. Then take the other ball and place it onto the centre and press it down slightly so it's stuck to the other piece. Then with the pointy tool, carefully lift up the one side so it makes like a crease, and carefully stick it to the centre ball. Then repeat for all the other sides, and the back. Then the last step is to add optional texture. You can do this with your thumb, as your thumbprint leaves like a gritty texture, and you can make scratches with your pointy tool or with your fingernail. Uh, just go ham on it, really. I don't really do that too often, but you can do it. Just play around. And then once you've done that, leave your piece to cure. Next, we're gonna make the bandanas. First up, make one large green stuff ball, a little bit similar to the head of the model. And then follow that by making a teeny weeny little ball. This will be the tail of the bandana, so make it as big as you want the tail to be at the back. Then roll up the smaller ball into a sausage shape. Now press the large ball onto the head and make sure you push it down a little at the size, so it gives it an illusion of push down fabric. Use the edge of the pointy tool to make deeper creases for the fabric as well. This part will be your bandana. Next, 
Next, place the tiny sausage shape at the back and smooth it all into the edge of the big ball. After, press the edge of the tool into that smooth bit to make a bit of a dip so you can separate both the tail and the bandana. Then smooth the bottom of the tail onto the model and cut out a small triangular shape so it makes it look like a split tail. You can keep it all one part if you'd like, but the split tail adds a bit more of an effect. Then lastly, add your texture if you wish to do that and leave it to cure. Now you should have decent looking captain's hat and a bandana to make even the cutest models look, um, piratey? I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of my clan scurvy army, then follow my Instagram at craftydog.minis or follow the link in the description. Thanks a lot again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!